What's up, comic fam, comic fans? And it's time to preview the comics coming out July 24th of 2024, all right? We'll have spec books, we'll have spotlight books, we'll have FOC books, and we'll have the books coming out this week. And we're going to do it all right after this. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Let's start off with the spec books. That's what we normally do. First off the bat, we have Annihilation 2099, number four. I think guys, spec hasn't been great in a while, but we still do it because every once in a while you get a cool character. And this is the Silver Surfer of 2099 versus Mephisto. That seems to be a pretty cool combination. So this is the first appearance of Silver Surfer 2099. Jonah Marlowe, I believe, is the name of this character. Um, just look like a cool, cool thing, cool concept, right? We all, I, I know I like the Silver Surfer, so that's what I, uh, that's why I put this on the list. All right, next one, The Nice House by the Sea. If The Nice House by the Lake ever gets picked up, this could be, you know, a further season or something like that, or if it's a movie, it could be a sequel, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's why it's on the spec list. The Nice House by the Lake had some buzz. Um, James Tynan has been working in Hollywood, right, trying to get his properties turned into movies, TV shows, etc. Right, um, something is killing the children. It's supposed to be a Netflix series, so we'll see where this goes. Hopefully, it's all good. Uh, but the nice house by the sea on the spec list. Last but not least, we have NYX. Number one, and this is all about mutants living in New York, all right, and how they do, but we'll have some first appearances in this one, all right, um, the first appearance of the Krakoan is supposed to be in this book, and the first appearance of a mutant named Local, so everybody loves their, their mutants, their X-Men, you know, so check it out see if any of these characters stick all right let's get into those spotlight books first off we have deadpool and wolverine world war three number three this is basically on the spotlight list because this week we have deadpool wolverine in theaters all right starting thursday thursday night or thursday afternoon actually and then who knows how long that movie will be in theaters i'm gonna guess for a couple of months right um, but who's not excited for that movie? <sighs> up to this point, the Deadpool movies have not failed to live up to expectation. Hopefully this one can keep the ball going, all right? Next on the list, we have Hello Darkness number one. This is out of Boom. Boom does horror pretty well, mostly because of the talent that goes to Boom to do these horror tales. So this is an anthology book where they're all working together on these monster tales horror fantasy mystery etc uh james tyne and becky clunan garth enos were the del edra brian azarello vanessa del rey or vanessa r del rey right <laughs> just and that's just to name a few on this book all right um yeah if you're looking for something out of boom this should be it also there'll be a uh something is killing the children story in here through the first six is issues and then there's also a garth enos and becky clunan story in the first seven issues all right uh last on the list of spotlight books we have rook exodus number four if you haven't been reading this this is a really good story um really good tale you have these wardens who are left on a planet who can kind of work with or command the creatures on the planet each warden has a particular um species that they can control and we have uh the big baddie ursa who wasn't a warden but managed to get his hands on the bear warden's helmet which lets him control these monstrous mutated bears it's a really cool story this planet is supposed to be coming to an end but these um some of the wardens are looking for a way to fix that while other wardens are just looking for a way to get off the planet good series check it out jeff johns jason fabic brad anderson rob lee check it out all right let's get into those foc books as you see there there's some uh, some spider-man 
and that is because Ultimate Spider-Man number eight will have the first appearance of the Kingpin's Sinister Six. All right, so you can you can read it right here if you want. Kingpin Sinister Six. Kingpin gathers a team to deal with his mass vigilante problem. But a group of supervillains isn't the only challenge Spider-Man will face. Meanwhile, Green Goblin joins forces with Doc Ock. I mean, you also see, it looks like Iron Man's there. I don't think Iron Man's part of the Sinister Six on this one. If you want the first cover appearance, then you're going to want the Luciano Vecchio variant cover. I think this is cover B. But there you go. Mysterio in the background, in case you missed it. He's that, you know, giant orb <laughs> back there. <laughs> anyway, cool stuff. Last book on the Final Order countdown is the Exceptional X-Men. There should be three new mutants popping up on that on this book. They are on the cover. All right, so cool stuff. We got cool stuff coming. Like all the new X-Men books, I think are going to introduce some new some new mutants. Really wild. All right, let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week. We're going to start off with Image Comics. What do we have out of Image Comics? Uh, Blood Squad 7, number 1. I read the first issue of that. That seemed to be a pretty good book. I have not read issue number 2, but issue number 3 does come out this week. Feral is out with issue number 5. And they continue with these uh, horror covers. I read like the first 2 or 3 issues of Feral. It's a cute story. It's fun. Um... It almost feels like it could be for kids, but then it's not. It really is. King Spawn, for you Spawn fans, Local Man is a really good read. As you can see there, I'm subscribed to it. Fun tale. Um, yeah, it's really about a hero who gets banned from being a hero because of some stuff. And he's in a small town now trying to save the town. And there's some weird stuff happening in this town. And it really, like, every time he tries to stand up, he gets knocked back on his butt. Uh, what else we got? We got Exodus number four. I'm picked that up. I'm not subscribed to it, but I should be. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that subscribe button. Boom. And then it'll tell me when when I'll get subscribed to that. But I can do that, and now I'm subscribed. All right. Let's keep looking and see what else is out there. And if I miss something, let me know. Spawn kills every spawn. Number one is out. Because that spawn wants to be the only and best spawn. Um, there's a super massive one shot. If you've been following the massive verse. There's a one shot out there for you. Creature uh, from the Black Lagoon lives. Issue number four, four is coming out, so that's the last issue. And then Void Rivals, part of the Energon verse, really good story in there, really good book. Check that out. They're on issue number eleven. Boom! Here comes the boom. Ready or not, we're gonna check out what is coming from Boom Studios. Berserker has a new uh, volume, a new story, a face full of bullets. Looks like a western. Oh, who doesn't like westerns? That's cool. I think it's a one shot. It's got a ten dollar price tag, so I hope it's a one shot because I can't imagine paying ten dollars for every issue. Though it's number one, so maybe the next one will be like four ninety nine. What else? Hello Darkness. We talked about that. That's out. I'm gonna try to order that as well. You know what? We're gonna give that one to another local comic shop, and I'll get that from them. I'll even try to grab the Jenny Frizen variant. Um, but what else? You got Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin, for you Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fans. Something is Killing Children, number 39 is out. I've been with that series in issue one. A lot of beautiful covers coming out. And then, um, yeah, some other books. Let's see. Oh, Under Heist is on issue five of five, if you've been reading that. DC Comics, we're there. No, we're not. We're back. And <laughs> not a lot of books coming out this week from DC, but we have absolute power ground zero number one so you know that was the preamble you know that was the book that kind of started it all so read that absolute power origins number one bundle of 25 looks like your shop can order bundles now absolute power number one batman detective comics trades 
You know what? I don't think these are all the DC books coming out this week. Mm, those are just hardcores, hardcores, hardcovers, and trades. Don't worry, guys. We will get the rest of the books coming out of DC. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come back over here. We're going to go to New Comics. I'm going to change this up. Go to Publishers. Go to DC. Previews has done this before in the past, by the way. Where they haven't given you all the DC books. And boom, here we go. We got Detective Comics number 1087. I heard in that one, Joker's Daughter and uh, Mr. Freeze causing some trouble, right? The Orgums are still in Gotham causing grief. What are you going to do? Batman 1087. Seems like a good story. Batman Detective 1087. Green Arrow number 14. Green Arrow is working for Amanda Waller. Crazy, right? All right, Flash. There's some crazy stuff happening in that Flash book. Uh, Harley Quinn. Number 42 is out, Zaytana bringing down the house, Batman braving the bold. Task Force 7 looks like it'll be dealing with Aquaman and his peeps. Power Girl looks like she's in trouble there. Uh, Batman Dark Angels, Absolute Power Origins, that's going to give us the origin of Amanda Waller. Right now, Nice House by the Sea, we talked about that. Catwoman, The Legacy Cow, number one, if you like... Catwoman. You got Blue Beetle in Spanish. Just here. Oh, what is that? Get out of here. <laughs> and then we got Ground Zero. Absolute Power. Number one. That's the second printing. You got some uh, Batman number 150. The San Diego Comic Con logo foil variant. Apparently you can order those in shops. And then you got some uh, Batman Superman World's Finest. And all the other good stuff. All right, let's get back to the rest of the new releases. We're heading to Marvel Comics. Annihilation 2099. That's with that Silver Surfer 2099. First one there. Uh, Blood Hunt number three. There's a second printing on that. You got Captain America number 11. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine number 11. I'm um, sorry, Captain America number 11 has a Deadpool and Wolverine weapon extraction variant cover because that it will be the second part of weapon extraction. The first one was in last week's Hulk co comic. They're putting this weapon um, weapon extraction story into a couple of different comics, one each week. Let's keep the ball rolling. Deadpool and Wolverine World War Three coming out with the movie variant, you know, cover right in time for the week of the movie. What else? Um, NYX number one. We talked about that. A couple of cool covers there. Darth Vader number 48. You got a Strange Academy. That is a Blood Hunt tie in with the Dark Force. Dark Hold. Dark Hold. Ultimate Black Panther number six is out this week. Avengers of the Moon Knight. That's a Blood Hunt tie in. A lot of Venom books this week. All right. Wolverine number 88 gets a facsimile. There's a Wolverine tie-in. You know, they really are hitting on the Wolverine and Deadpool stuff the week before the movie. Or the week of the movie. Alright, we're moving on to Dynamite. And you have Army of Darkness number 10. Alright, and that seems to be one of the few actual non-limited like limited edition covers out this week. Vampirella number 670 is the other one. All right, we're off to the rest of the comics coming out this week. Street Fighter and Friends, they have the swimsuit issue. Very cool, just in time for the summer. Addiction, Death of Your Life from Addiction Comics, issue number one of three. Art Germ on that A cover and David Mack on the B cover. So those are really good cover artists that they got there. Let's keep looking. Astro Bot from Massive on issue number one couple of covers there those are all like limited edition covers so they're really expensive well like 20 bucks or more all right what else what else is coming out this week if i missed anything guys let me know and uh you could have been anywhere in the world but you're here with me and we appreciate that got that from jay-z conan the barbarian number 13 out of titan a few covers for that one or a lot of covers actually for that one there are a ton of covers with a lot of good artists on that. Whoa. I wonder if that's a finale or something like that, to have that many covers. All right. 
Where are we? What else is coming out this week? As you can see, there are a couple of like exclusive covers coming out. Ooh. I don't know why this does that, but it does. <laughs> uh, what else? Doctor Who, 10th Doctor, number one facsimile. So if you're a big fan of that, they have the 11th Doctor as well. EC Comics, um, Oni Press is going to start reprinting those books with cool new covers. So that's really awesome. Uh, what else we got? Oh, look, Flash. Uh, Flash Gordon number one that's coming out this week and we're getting there we're getting there fans fam thank you for sticking with us Joy Operations number two I feel like Joy Operations number one came out like over a year ago so that's crazy so crazy what else? Liquid Kill number one. That's out of massive. All right. I feel like we're getting there. Mass of the Universe number three. I haven't read that yet. But if I get a chance, probably will try. Nemesis Rogues Gallery number one from Mark Millar. Everyone's favorite fake hero. Right? And he's like really a super bad guy, but he pretends to be a hero. Quested number one, that's another massive thing with all special covers, $20 being the cheapest you can get one of those covers for. What else? We got Ram God number one out of massive. A couple of covers for that. Rebel Moon House of Blood Axe, uh, issues number one through four in a pack, that's 20 bucks for that. So if you're if you're a fan of Rebel Moon, there you go. You get issues number one through four of that series. And um, I think we're coming to an end. Star Trek for you Trekkie fans, for you Trekkies, for you Trek fans, Star Trek fans. There we go. And uh, ooh, TMNT number one, 40th anniversary cover there. So TMNT by IDW with the reboot with issue number one. A lot of covers there and we're getting towards the end that's, that's where we are <laughs> Winnie the Pooh Demon Hunter number one that looks like a fun book that's out of Antarctic Press and then you got a Witcher book trade and the writer number two from Dark Horse all right comic fam comic fans those are the books coming out this week this is the preview show for the books coming out July 24th. All right, do what you do. I'm gonna do what I do. I'm gonna get ready for this week's books. If you like the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below. Deuce, sis, peace. All right, so Gotham by Ga uh... <laughs> uh, best man number one I actually got that last week or man's best not best man man's best number one so I'm not sure why that is loaded up here oh you know why because we're on the wrong week